Hello, and welcome to the sixth video in Mr. Barton's autograph video tutorial series. This week we're going to look at putting together all our newfound amazing skills of transformations on autograph to look at how we can do combined transformations. Now, um, I'm going to have to change the axes to start things off here. Um, I'm going to do a video next week about how all the different things you can do changing the axes on autograph, but for now just go along with this um, and trust me. So I'm going to hover over here to the top to the edit axes button. I'm going to give that a click. Um, I'm going to change the Y minimum to a minus 8, the Y maximum to an 8, and I'm going to get rid of all these ticks, and I'm just going to change that 2 to a 1. As I say, trust me on this one for now, all will be explained next week. Um, if I click OK, I get a nice looking set of axes where I can fit a bit more stuff on. OK, let's get ourselves a shape. So as usual, hover over here, bit of point mode, and I'm just going to go for a simple rectangle, I think. There, there, there we go. Um, I'll drag around that, spin a marquee select, right click and group to shape. You should be becoming experts at this by now. And I'm going to start by doing a reflection. So to do a reflection, as we know, we're going to need a line to reflect in. So like we chatted about, I will get a point there. I am going to right click and I'm going to get horizontal line. I think that'll do us for now. And I'm going to reflect that object and I'm going to reflect it in this line. So I've selected the object and the line. I've held down shift because I'm not in whiteboard mode. I'm going to right click and lo and behold, there's reflection. Now, as we know, we can move that original object and see the effect on the reflection. And we can also move the line and see the effect there. OK, let's do a rotation. But instead of doing it on the original blue object, I'm going to do it on the green object. So to do a rotation, we are going to need a point to rotate it around. So let's go for something like that point there. Sounds good to me. Uh, back to point mode, I'm going to select my point, and I'm going to hold down shift and select my object. I'm going to right click, and there's rotation. Um, as we chatted about, rotations in autograph are anti-clockwise, so I'm going to go for a 90 degree anti-clockwise, get rid of these construction lines, click OK. Ooh, now I'm off the screen a little bit there, so let's just use my hand tool and just drag ourselves up a little bit. Perfect. Um, once again, I can move my center of rotation around, and I can also move my original object around and see the effect. But more about that in a second. OK, so let's go next for an enlargement. So I'm going to pop, pop a point down. Ooh, let's go for here. And I am going to select my point, and I'm going to select this yellow object this time. Um, hold down shift, select it, right click, and I get an enlargement. And let's go for a scale factor of and yes, I think I will leave in my construction lines just so I can see how it's been done. So there's my enlarged object. And once again, I can move this object back, this point back and all that kind of stuff. And finally, what I think I'm going to do is a translation. So like we chatted about last week, let's get a point. Right click when it's there to give us hopefully vector. There it is. And let's go for one that goes, well, I don't know, two to the left and four up, something like that. Perfect. And I want to tell Autograph that I want to translate this object by this vector. That's highlighted, that's selected. Right click and I get translation. Now, if you've been following along at home, I've got a question for you. And my question is, if I was to take this lovely blue object here, and if I was to move this lovely blue object down one square, where would this orangey brownie object go? Have a think about it. Set up this in autograph, and the answer may just surprise you, and it may also surprise your students. So if I was to move this blue object, where does the brown object go? And that's all for this week. Take care. Bye-bye.